that actually epitomizes what it is that we try to do here at Case Western Reserve and probably actually at all major universities, which is to help students actually be part of the process of both learning in the traditional sense, but also the excitement around the opportunity to bring ideas and products to market. And, and, and this opportunity to work with mobile discovery, uh, with the entire carrier community, on taking the most pervasive tool that students have on campus, which is their mobile phones, equip most of them with cameras, and literally turning that into a tool that extends both the learning and the play and the work that they do here at the university. This semester we have two teams of our MEM students and are doing a, they're actually helping be the project leads for mobile discovery. And they're working on new technology on campus and trying to engage our entire student population engaging in this technology, which is cutting edge. Students can create their own barcodes, any carrier, T-Mobile, Sprint, Verizon, AT&T, whatever they want. Um, so it doesn't really matter what carrier it is, and it, it, it will reach the entire 16,000 um, population here, students, faculty, and staff. Um, so anybody can create their own codes and uh, create their basically their own advertising campaign. And the advertisers, such as QVC, USA Today, and other companies are helping uh, get the interest out there so that people are more interested to create their own codes. This 2D code technology is really the next killer app in advertising and marketing. It's just a great fit with everything we're doing here at QVC because we really want to be everywhere our customers are. And what better way to reach the next generation of QVC shoppers than through this new technology? It's, it's awesome. Mobile Discovery came out as uh, the first choice of a number uh, of the, the student teams uh, and uh, we're very happy about that. Well, I'm really excited to see this stuff finally making its way over from Japan. Uh, I know they've been using it there for a long time and it's a really good intermediary between now and when we'll eventually get to things like RFID in everywhere. I'm especially excited to see it right here at Case getting its actual name for technology. I think it's really cool and um, it's really easy to use. All you did was take a picture of it and all the data just came up on your phone and you just read it. So We went around to different stations on campus and each code gave us a clue to the different places where we would go on campus so it was th they were kind of like the clues for the treasure hunt. What I plan to do with these codes is actually instead of people you know writing down their planners that they have an appointment or a party to go to, they can just scan the code and it will automatically, you know, make an appointment on their calendars and remind them later or actually take them to, you know, the social website or the Facebook event website where all the other information is. The MEM, it was designed uh, based on a, an extensive survey with industry uh, asking the question in the late 90s, what do you expect from a freshly graduated engineer? And about 150 respondents told us in, in short that they wanted strong technical skills, don't dilute that, but uh, add a variety of other things that were deemed important and, and are even more important in this highly competitive uh, age we live in, including project management, product development, entrepreneurial thinking, a bit of finance and accounting, uh, uh, things like that. And that's what the MEM program is all about, taking engineering skill and turning it into commercial success. It has endless opportunities and it's just amazing to be a part of something that is starting small but eventually is going to go nationwide.